Just recently, a whistleblower claims that the Pentagon is covering up a UFO retrieval program. At this hearing, former Navy pilot Ryan Graves recounted an encounter he had with an object he described as a black sphere floating inside a clear tube. He also said that such encounters were extremely common among pilots. So what is going on? Are aliens and UFOs real? Well, today we're going to be looking at some of the scariest UFO sightings from this year. for this video says seems like the hologram machine is broken because if you didn't know there's a thing called project blue beam and basically it's that the government is going to fake an alien invasion through holograms and all that kind of stuff so could this be a case of them testing out a hologram machine i don't know people were running and taking photos of it it does look suspicious like i don't know what that could be because when they zoomed in it definitely did look like part of a craft and it's just kind of like hovering there emitting a bright light so it totally could be a ufo i am not sure at all okay this one freaks me out because what the hell is that the last one could have been like a street lamp or something i don't know this has a full-on like bluish cloud and then they zoomed in and it literally looked like an aircraft emitting some sort of beam. That one is freaky. Like I just, I have no explanation of what this could be. Some people said that it's a rocket or a satellite. That doesn't make sense. How is it just staying still like that? And since when does satellites emit that much light? And satellites are in space. I don't know. I don't know. It's freaky. I'm shooting a video of this at Walmart parking lot and it's a perfect circle with the lights around it in the parking lot. This is a fake video. You can see my kids. It's the strangest thing I've ever seen. So... I guess aliens like shopping at Walmart too? I mean, why wouldn't they? They're rolling back the savings. Save money, live better. You know what I'm saying? Is that Walmart's slogan? It has to be. That does very much look like a UFO hovering above a Walmart, maybe uh, abducting people to run experiments on, which would make sense because people that shop at Walmart, there's some interesting people that shop at Walmart, let me say that. So maybe they're like, yo, what goes on in their brain? Opposed to people from like Target, let's say. What in the hell? That's scary. Look, they're, they're stopping. Stop. What is that? What the fuck? The UFO. <laughs> what the I don't know what that Look, is, but they're one just disappeared. Around. I have no idea what that is. I'm saying that for everything. <laughs> this one to me, it's probably something like maybe a meteor shower, drones flying, something like that. Like this one doesn't scare me as much as the other ones. The other ones I'm like, they could be real. This one I'm like, there's probably a logical explanation, you know? To me, again, great footage. Look at that. What's going on with all these sightings? Like, why? And it, no, it's not just concentrated in the United States. Hmm. It's definitely not an airplane. I agree with what she's saying. It is good footage. And when they zoom in, you can clearly tell that it is not like any craft that we have. It's not a helicopter. It's not an airplane. It's like a ring of lights. So what is it? Maybe it's an aircraft that the government owns. Like it's a new one, like a weird jet or something. But that's suspicious. That is weird. Like I'm trying to debunk it, but I genuinely don't know what that is. Maybe aliens are real. This one trips me out because it's like a full-on UFO like light show happening. 
You got the the UFO going back and forth and it looks like they're abducting people. There's people screaming in the background because they're so scared. The only like logical thing that I can think of is that this was part of a like light show for like MGM or like Walt Disney. You know when they do those like light projection shows? That's the only logical thing I can think of. It literally looks like a creature like a jellyfish, like a glowing jellyfish, but in the sky, moving back and forth. I'm gonna say this one was a light show. You can let me know your thoughts though in the comments below. So that footage right there is said to be the most credible footage of a UFO and the most clearest sighting of a UFO. The pilot that filmed this saw the thing like far away and was like what the hell is that whipped out their phone and recorded it flying by you can see that it's moving faster than the pilot in his plane so it's going pretty dang fast past him and it looks like a typical ufo like what we imagine a ufo will look like the only thing is it looks pretty tiny doesn't it it looks like a little mini flying saucer maybe aliens are like tiny like george shrinks tiny like this big they're like beep beep that'd be cute they'd be cute <laughs> Okay, that one was weird. It looked like it was a UFO that like got shot down and fell from the sky. Like that UFO just straight up went like it didn't mean to go down. That's what it looked like to me. Or that one could honestly be like a weather balloon. So I don't know if I like that one. Like my opinion even matters. Look at it. What is that? We've made contact. It's okay, Al. You don't have to be scared. It's just sitting there now. Now it's just sitting there. Wait, I don't know what this guy is freaking out about because at 58 seconds in, it's a helicopter. No, that's a helicopter hovering, right? You can see its propellers going like this. Is that not a helicopter? I don't know. That looks like a helicopter. Helicopter, helicopter. I, when he zoomed in, I could just see the propellers, but then now that I'm looking at it, instead of it flying this way, it looks like it was flying this way, if that makes sense. Shoot, what is this? Ah! Somebody let me know. We need an unbiased scientist that can straight up be like, yo, it's a UFO, or yo, it's not. Witnesses are reporting that four triangular shaped UFO flew over a military base in Argentina. And according to reports, the military began opening fire on the UFOs. No, me está jodiendo. Reports are surfacing that several service members were injured in the conflict after the UFO began shining lasers at the military members. Though this isn't confirmed, reporters in Argentina are working on validating these claims by, by contacting hospitals in the area. Okay, that's weird. That's real weird. So they got it on camera, but not only that, military personnel were injured after encountering whatever the hell this was. So some people think it is a UFO, other people think maybe it's like enemy plane, device maybe it was like releasing some chemical to make them sick or lasers or whatever technology is so advanced like there's so many weapons and stuff that the government is hiding that we don't actually know so half of this could literally just be like an advanced spying drone from the government and yet we think it's a ufo or they disguise their spying drone as a ufo so we're like yo it's aliens instead of like yo the government is spying on us does that make sense? I feel like that's my theory that I'm gonna go with. Yeah, I'm going with the government is sneaky and don't trust them. All right, folks, that's all for today's video. You can let me know in the comments below, do you believe in aliens? Have you ever seen an alien or a UFO? Let me know, and while you're down there, obviously smash that like button and subscribe to my channel. I've been your host, Lindsay Ivan. Stick around for some bloopers if there is any, and I'll show you when I show y'all. Bye.